week we're back in Amsoil, this time to meet up with the women's hockey team. Let's go talk to Emma Stauber. I'm Emma, um, I'm majoring in exercise science and I'm number seven in MD. Oh, you grew up in Duluth, right? Mm -hmm. What made you decide to be a Bulldog? Um, well, obviously, like, I was here to watch them. Um, my dad and I would come every like, Sunday to a lot of their games as many as we could, so I always grew up watching them, and so it kind of made, made an easy decision. Yeah. yeah. Um, nice to be close to home, too. Yeah. Yeah. And you come from a pretty big hockey family. Mm -hmm. um, did that have a lot of impact on you growing up and deciding to play and just, like, was pressure or anything, or? Yeah, I think there's a little pressure. My dad, obviously, um, but then my whole family, all my uncles played, and um, most of my older cousins and younger cousins, like the boys did. I was, I was like the only girl. Yeah. But um, I don't know. I just like it just ran the family, so I, I don't know. I enjoy it. Yeah. I mean, it's not something that I don't like to do. Yeah. So. Yeah. I mean, Obviously. Yeah. And you're your alternate captain, and what has that required you for stepping up and being a leader? How's that been for you this year? Um, it's been a little challenging at times. Like I'm not really one to like get a lot of points or anything, but I've had to find a way to contribute in other in other ways, like in the locker room and um, in the weight room and practicing and everything. So I think I just kind of have a little bit different role than maybe some other kind of captains that put up points every weekend. But um, I think I'm doing okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And we have um, quite a bit bigger of a senior class going into next year. Mm -hmm. What can we look forward to next year? Um, I think it's our last year and we've learned a lot over the last four years so hopefully we'll kind of like peak next year mm -hmm. and um, we'll all be at the top of our game so. It's exciting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll be good. We have a lot of freshmen, um, really good freshmen coming in so. Oh good. Yeah. Perfect. CHA tournament. UMD needs to win to continue on. What do you think UMD needs to bring to the table to make that happen? Um, I think we really need to just stick to the game plan and what coach has in store for us. Um, as long as we listen and play disciplined, I think we're going to be just fine. Um, we A lot of our games this year, we've been able to play with them, and we may be lost to like the Gophers and um, North Dakota and Wisconsin by one or two goals, but we can easily play with them, and um, as long as we minimize our mistakes, I think we're, we're going to be fine. Yeah, and you've been de dealing with a few injuries this season, and a couple girls got for the Olympics now. Has that kind of changed team dynamics or anything? Um, a little bit. I think um, mostly that other people um, have kind of stepped up to the plate a little bit just because we did have to leave for the Olympics and then we had injuries. So I think it'll make us stronger in the end because those people got more playing time and they kind of had to take on a little bit more responsibility. So. Once we do get the Olympians back, I think I think we're going to be pretty good. For good to go. Yeah. Yeah. I like Breaking Bad. That was a really big hit for me. Okay. Um, and Grey's Anatomy is pretty oh, high yeah. up there too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. If you could be any character from Grey's Anatomy, which one? Would you Meredith. Be? Oh, for sure. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So if you could play any other sport, what would it be? Golf. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Um, well, I played in high school. I've kind of played since I was little. Um, and it's just kind of fun. Yeah. yeah. I've noticed that's a common theme, mm -hmm. um, I think, with hockey players and yeah. like in golf, it's just relaxing. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's not really that similar, but in a way, <laughs> I I mean, in a way it's kind of similar. Yes, yeah, so you swing a little bit. I don't know. You're swinging. Yeah. Well, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. Um, what is your favorite memory as a Bulldog? Um, my favorite memory as a Bulldog was my freshman year, and we um, beat number one Wisconsin in the WHA final um, final four, and we made it to the championship round. So, and that was a really big accomplishment for yeah. us. Accomplishment for us at the time. So. And super exciting. Yeah, 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 yeah. What about? Do you have any other good memories from hockey, just growing up, that you could tell us about? Yeah, um, actually, it kind of goes with the time. Um, Right now, the girls' state tournament is going on for high school, and that we won in or we won sections in my junior year of high school. So that was an accomplishment because it was the first time my team had ever, ever made it. So. Oh, really? Yeah. And you got to be a part of it. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs>well, yeah, we call Emma Squirrel because she started naming girls squirrels. So she just calls everything squirrel. Anyone that comes by a squirrel, crazy girl, is a crazy squirrel. And it just became this huge joke. So she got a squirrel for her secret Santa. Um, 
And then now even coaches calling her squirrel on the ice, whether she gets in trouble or does something right or anything. <laughs> it's like, squirrel! <laughs>